It's time to see who's been around this channel for a long time. Who remembers this build right here? This is the RC four-wheel drive Tremors movie blazer build that I did for the ECSC. And this was a lot of fun to build up and it features a lot of really cool RC four-wheel drive accessories. But an RC model is never done, right? We've got more work to do. Yep, I've pulled my blazer back off the shelf. It is time to do some more work to it. But before we get into the video, I do want to mention that this video is sponsored by RC Four Wheel Drive. They sponsored a video a little while back about some of the deals that you can get on the RC Four Wheel Drive website. And today we are going to talk about some of the accessories that you can get for the RC Four Wheel Drive V8 engine. Now I put that engine in this build when I built it up for the ECSE event and uh, it is just a very cool engine. It's all machined from aluminum uh, and it really gives a nice scale look to your vehicle, especially with the blazer where you could go and you could pop up the hood. You could see, you know, the engine detail on the inside. However, they have a lot more accessories for that engine and that's what this video is about. It's showing you the extra parts that you could go and buy. There's a lot of cool engine stuff that's out there. There's a lot of 3D printing stuff, but in true RC four wheel drive fashion, a lot of this stuff here is nicely machined aluminum stuff. So it's got that realistic look to it really and it's gonna look awesome in this truck. All right, so obviously we have the V8 engine that is available. Uh, and of course you could go and custom fit it to any chassis that you want to. It might take a little bit of work, but uh, I've seen people do some wild stuff in the scale and trail scene. Uh, but let's talk about the accessories. And I want to start off over here with the only non-aluminum part really. And that is the exhaust headers. Now these are nicely 3D printed parts. Obviously we've got to, you know, a header on each side and it bolts right up to the V8 engine pretty much no modifications. Unless you're dropping into a custom application, you might have some clearance issues, but these headers themselves are absolutely beautiful. They didn't even look 3D printed. They look like they're actually molded and uh, they're hollow too. So but they actually are very, very realistic. But again, it's the left and right side. You could go ahead and paint these things. I don't know, I was thinking of leaving it white so it kind of looks like thermal header wrap and uh, they go and give you these screws to go and install it onto the engine. And they even give you the little tool that that's necessary to put on these tiny little screws. Uh, so this is a really nice option to have, especially if you don't have fender wells in your vehicle because you could see in there and you could just see the open heads inside and uh, you know, having the header in there is definitely gonna give it a better scale look. All right, next up in line over here, I have the distributor cap. So this is another nicely machined aluminum part. It just looks like a V8 engine distributor cap and they go ahead and they give you this tubing so it kind of replicates the spark plug wires and then they give you a, a bunch of little screws that you could go and put into the cap uh, and put into the engine block and run this tubing to, you know, again, replicate that spark plug wire look. So I really like that setup. It's gonna be a lot of work to get it in there, but it's gonna look good when it's done. All right, now we have uh, the thermostat housing here and it's just a tiny machined aluminum part. And it's kind of amazing that they could go and machine something this small. I know there's a lot of small parts out there, but this, this is very cool to go and put on there. Of course, they give you the hardware and again, the special tool to fit the hardware on there. These are all individual pieces that I'm showing you in each section here. Uh, so you could go and build this up uh, you know, as you have the money, as you have the time. And uh, you know you don't have to obviously go and get everything at once. All right, next up we have the pulley and belt kit for uh, the front of the engine here. And uh, there's your timing cover. We got the pulleys. And uh, I think this is kind of just a, a water pump spacer. We actually have a water pump, uh, but uh, they also go and give you hardware and belts again. Uh, even the little bushings for the pulleys to ride on and everything. But again, nicely machined parts uh, and even has some weight to it. Nice aluminum part, nice finish to everything. There's really no machine marks, uh, you know, so it's really, really well done. And now of course the, the water pump. So you could go and put this on uh, the front of your engine as well. Of course, again, just to bump up the scale look of the engine when you pop the hood on there. And finally, I did go and get the aluminum radiator. And uh, this is absolutely incredible. This piece of, uh, of machine work right here, this is all aluminum. There's, there's a couple steel screws on the sides to hold the end tanks on, but even the radiator cap screws onto the top. Uh, but you can actually see through this. It's absolutely amazing uh, just the way they've machined, uh, you know, the holes in here, put it together. It has the RC four wheel drive logo up top. 
looks like it's got some screw holes on the threaded screw holes on the bottom here so that's where you mount it and then of course it's got the inlet and outlet on there uh, so you could go and run tubing and uh, they go ahead they give you some tubing they even give you some small clamps which uh, is going to look really nice on there but we're going to go and bolt all this stuff on to the engine and uh, again everything here is pure scale and uh, what i'm going to do now i'm going to go bolt everything up and tell you about you know how everything fits in there and of course we're going to see what it looks like well, after a couple hours on the workbench back there, I have everything installed and the scale factor has been bumped up on my project vehicle. I think these parts look pretty awesome on the engine. The engine was cool by itself, but now it looks much more complete. And, uh, you know, things are actually fairly easy to install. There is, a, it's not going to be just a drop in and play type of thing. There will be a little modification necessary. Uh, and if you're a scale builder, that shouldn't be a problem. So I'm going to break down uh, the assembly for you. Just give you a couple of things to look out for. Uh, the first thing I went and put on was the thermostat neck, uh, but it actually didn't go on. Uh, my particular engine had a first gen generation manifold on the top of it uh, so I contacted RC four-wheel drive they sent me out the newer version which allows you to screw the neck on uh, without any modifications I would have had to, to drill uh, my old manifold out and everything uh, it was just much easier to go ahead and get a new one once uh, I did that you know it screwed right on then I moved on to the front cover and pulley assembly pulled the original front cover off and put the uh, the one that came in the pulley assembly kit on because it has a, a threaded boss for the pulleys and uh, once you you know put that on there's a bunch of screws to, to swap that out which is easy to do uh, you may want to add a little loctite so that the screws don't fall out went and put the the pulley together in the front and one thing to note there is the the damper pulley i, I believe it's the damper pulley i'm not a v8 guy i was a, a four-cylinder guy but the damper on the bottom uh, the flange faces out to go uh, to mate up with the pulley when you put the three screws in there And then once you do that you could screw the pulley on the supplied screw and just note that the flange of the bushing Actually faces uh, towards the front of the vehicle So not on the engine side because it helps hold the pulley in place once that's done I put the upper pulley on after I put it in the new water pump uh, Because the pulley set comes with a different style of water pump this water pump here uh, basically has the neck to go down to the radiator so I put that on and then I put the front pulley on and then the, the rubber band is the belt and it's nice that they give you an extra one just in case something happens you blow a belt on the trail you always have a, an extra one in your kit uh, so after that was all set I moved on to the, uh, the distributor actually so I went and screwed all the tiny little screws into the distributor cap and then into the heads and that's where you're gonna need uh, you're actually gonna need some small hands so if you got some big meat mitts it's gotta be a real problem getting those little tiny screws in it was a pain for me uh, and then you're just going to need a jeweler screwdriver to screw them into place once you do that it's just onto cutting down the tubing that they give you uh, to use as spark plug wires pressing it on and before I put the headers on I ran the tubing through the header uh, because uh, you can't get the header on afterwards so you got to kind of you know slide all of your tubing and press it on to the lower spark plugs and then you could uh, bolt your header onto the heads and uh, as, as you can see it looks very cool once that's done and after the the headers were installed I moved on to uh, getting it back into the vehicle and that's when I kind of noticed a couple other things that you're gonna have to look out for one thing is the the servo location so I had to go and flip the servo mount around uh, in order to place a servo up front to give some clearance for the radiator actually and for the pulley assembly with the uh, servo back here it was a little too close so I flipped it around it is going to need a little bit of modification where the shackle meets the frame the screw that holds that in place it kind of hits that servo mount so I'm gonna have to go grind that out I haven't done that yet but other than that it, it seems to fit in place pretty well I'm not gonna be able to use my custom front bumper that I made for it I'm gonna have to go and find a, a, another option there because now with the servo in place I can't use Use that front bumper mount and with the blazer body not such a big deal since the uh, stock bumper mounts on the front of the hard body uh, then I went and bolted in the radiator I just have one single screw uh, there is actually a screw hole in the stock servo mount that kind of matched right up with the hole of the, the radiator uh, so it's just screwed down on one side and it seems pretty solid so I'm just gonna leave it as is I mean the the radiator hoses with the clamps are also gonna hold it in place I don't think that thing's gonna go anywhere uh, but you know uh, cutting the hoses down 
Very simple, just use a pair of pliers to uh, squish the clamps to get the, the clamp over the hoses. And then the, the assembly was pretty much finished there. I mean, it all depends on you know where you're starting with your particular build. Again, I had the engine already in there. I had to go pull it back out and then uh, you know assemble everything, drop it back in. So you know that's gonna take some extra time in the build process depending where you are in the build. Uh, after I got the engine back in, I test fitted the body and I did notice that the distributor cap did hit the firewall uh, on the blazer body. So I just took my Dremel tool and cut a little notch out so the distributor cap would have some clearance. And, uh, you know, again, it just looks pretty awesome in there. And, and RC four wheel drive, they offer some amazing looking parts to really scale out your vehicle, give it an awesome look, whether you're doing it for yourself or whether you're doing it for competition. These parts are fantastic and it's just gonna, you know, make your truck stand out. All right, guys, I'd like to thank RC four wheel drive for helping to support the channel here by sponsoring this video. I'm gonna go put part numbers down in the description below along with links. So if you're interested in anything you see here, please go hit up RC four wheel drive, check out all the stuff they have to offer. And while you're in the description, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell so you don't miss any upcoming RC four wheel drive videos here on the RC driver channel.